Hi guys, I really miss seeing you, but welcome to my backyard. I hope you guys are doing well. We're talking rosés. It is rosé season. They always come out in early spring, and there are now so many different great rosés on the market. It's fun to experiment and try a variety. And Taylor, if you were here, I would have Prosecco, but I'll just bring you some next time I see you. Okay, let's start out with a traditional style rosé. This is always one of my go-tos. This is the Fleur de Prairie. This is classic Provence style rosé. So think Grenache, Syrah, and so it's dry. You'll taste strawberries, some minerality. Uh, it's influenced by those sea breezes and whatnot. It's, it's wonderful, but I love the Fleur de Prairie. So it's, it's always in my refrigerator. Okay, moving on. A new one, at least to me, I think it may be new here as well. This is the Hess Select. This is from Napa. Uh, a lot of the wine producers in Napa are now doing rosé, and you'll see everything from Cabernets, I've seen a Merlot rosé, different things being done. This one is done with Pinot Noir. So you get a little bit more fruit perhaps, a little bit more body in this wine, but it's very good. Uh, it's a wonderful wine. All rosés are great food pairing wines, so you really can't go wrong. So from Napa, we're going to go to Oregon. This one is kind of fun as well. This is the Eola Hills and made with grapes I've never seen done in a rosé, at least not in this country. One of them is Muller Turgau, the other one is uh, Muscat, and there's a third one in this wine that I couldn't even begin to pronounce. But this wine is more tropical, so it's a lot different from any of the other rosés, the classic style especially. You get a little more tropical notes on it, a little more fruit forward, uh, a very easy drinking wine. This would be a really good porch wine. Again, Eola Hills, and it comes from Willamette Valley in Oregon. All right, this is a fun one. Woo, here out here with the birds. <laughs> you can hear it all. This is really nice too. This is from Paso Robles. This is Dow. Dow is known for its Cabernets. And I have to say, this is a really nice rosé. And it's different. It's using Grenache, but it's using the Grenache Blanc, the white version of the grape. And it's mixing it with Sauvignon Blanc. So it's dry, it's crisp. It's got a little bit of those uh, cherry flavors on it. It's really nice. So this is another fun one. All of them, of course, at HEB. This is just a small sample. There are so many. And as you can see by these here, they come in a variety of shades of beautiful pink and salmon. And that has to do with how long the grape skin stay in touch with the juice. So once the grapes are harvested, when they're put into the vats, they leave the juice and the grapes together anywhere from maybe a couple of hours to a couple of days. And that determines how much color uh, the wines take on. If you go to HEB, you'll find them. You'll have a lot of fun playing with the different ones. By all means, since our store times are um, a little different than what we're used to, don't forget about buying a six pack. You get a discount, of course, by a, by a case and that you're set for even longer. I truly miss you all. I hope you're all well, and I look forward to the time when I'm there with you and we can share laughs and hugs. Cheers.